Hey y'all, welcome back to the party. It's your girl, Britt Reacts, and today we are reacting to Jeff Dunham. Marriage is like Alcatraz. <laughs> Let's see what he has to say. Jeff Dunham, I'm not your typical stand-up comedian. Uh, I have to have help. I have a friend up here. I think audiences enjoy this guy because everyone knows someone like this. You know somebody like this in your own family or where you work. Please help me welcome Walter. Legs, there are legs. Okay, hi, Walter. Okay. Um, two things. The title of this is highly hilarious to me, which is why I was like sniggling before I started the video. Second thing, um, puppets in general, I think I struggle with, like they make me, I'm a little scared of them. I'm not gonna lie to you. Um, typically their faces are a little scary, but this face is so human-like and like the, the facial expression especially is like very like, I feel like I see an old man like this often. So I don't feel so scared. <laughs> Let's see what happens. Good evening, Walter. Ah, oh, shut the hell up. <laughs> you know where we are? Yeah, I know where we are. I don't give a damn either. Oh. Just want to get the hell out of here. Where do you want to go? Who the hell cares? I don't care. <laughs> but you like it here in Montreal. Montreal. <laughs> uh, I love that. He has ear uh, ear hair, like his, his hair coming out of his ears. Yeah, he's like a little tiny curmudgeon, and I love it. I love him. I love him. Bonjour. Whatever the hell that means. <laughs> but you like you do like Montreal. Yeah, a lot of drinking going on here. Yeah, yeah. Budweiser's considered a soda. <laughs> Is that true? <laughs> yeah, I was in a bar last night, sitting next to a guy. He put away 15 beers before he started acting like a jerk. Oh. You didn't try and keep up with him, did you? Come on, man, I'm an American. I don't need beer to act like a jerk. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> um, one, is that true? Do Canadians love a good cold brew? I never knew that. That was a funny one. Like, I'm an American who's, I don't need anything to drink. Just give me a glass of water. Like, <laughs> oh, he's funny. I love this little curmudgeon -y puppet. He's so funny. Shut the hell up. Oh! You don't want to stay, where do you want to go? I don't care. How about where you went last weekend? No, I don't want to talk about that. It was very nice. Walter and his wife went on their second honeymoon. Oh, uh, you'll tell the story yeah. for us, huh, Jeff? Okay. <laughs> like eating a piece of gum you already chewed. That is so bad off to say. <laughs> I also love that he has his own microphone he has a microphone on his chest um this is so funny ventriloquism i i probably just butchered the way you say that is such a like to think about that like the amount of like breath that you have because he's talking for two people where i can stop talking no as soon as he jeff stops talking he's talking for is it walter i forgot his name that fast what's wrong with me it's late y'all <laughs> um it is such a art form. Like there's a there's a certain amount of like breath control and then the timing of your jokes is something you have to consider. Like jokes have beats like music and like to be able to land them while speaking on behalf of two people is a wild concept. I could never. Like hats off to anyone. Like the puppets might scare me, but the art form itself is kind of baffling to me, truly. <laughs> See, they know what I'm talking about. Well, Walter, I understand your wife's in town. Yeah, she's in town. She's been having a good time. Oh, she always has a good time. Yeah, pisses me off. <laughs> you two have been married, what, 46 years? That's right. Do you remember the happiest moment of your life? Yeah, it was 47 years ago. Oh! 
Walter, you seem a little extra grumpy. Yeah, I don't know what it is. Maybe too much bran. Brand? Brand that you make you regular. Regular hell, I'm about three years ahead of schedule. Brand likes it. <laughs> just really says three, three years ahead of schedule. Brand likes cereal. It's like high fiber cereal, right? I used to love um, raisin bran. I would add sugar to it, but I loved it because the ra like the sugar and the raisins was always so like such a good bite with like the perfect amount of cereal. Dang, I should probably go buy some raisin bran. <laughs> Too much bran that you make you regular. Regular hell, I'm about three years ahead of schedule. <laughs> That's gross. That's so well, gross. 46 years of marriage. What has that done for you? Look at my face. <laughs> Walter, you make fun of your wife a lot. You know, she could be gone for good one day. Stop teasing me. Walter. You ever cheated on her? Hell no. Damn it. <laughs> you know, Walter, marriage is supposed to be forever. Well, it's taken too damn long. Oh my goodness. So I take it there's been a little bit of arguing. Little bit. What do you argue about? She doesn't like it because I never put the toilet seat back down. What do you <laughs> tell her? Learn to hover. And the like subtle body language, like the obviously his arms are folded, but like the learn to hover, like there's these like subtle body movements that he he's also having to do. This is he's Jeff is really talented. Shout out to you. Hats off to you, Jeff Dunham, because I'm amazed. I just, this is such an amazing art form, truly. Excuse me, I have to cough. <coughs> Sorry. What do you tell her? Learn to hover. <laughs> so terrible. <laughs> what else does she not like? I don't know, I always pick my nose and I'm driving. That's a man's right, dang blasted. Dang blast. Why do you pick your nose when you're driving? Because my ass is too hard to reach. <laughs> well, <the> mar <laughs> marriage is supposed to be an institution. Yeah, like Alcatraz. You can't compare Perfect. marriage to prison. Yeah, I guess you're right. The warden doesn't max out your credit cards. <laughs> so that happens. She buys some of those useless crap. You know what she got me the other day? What? Some of that spray-on hair stuff. Did you use it? On our chihuahua. <laughs> Turn it into a shit zoo. Oh, my gosh. Walter, do you think about getting old? I don't worry about it. I figure I want to go like my uncle did. How was that? Peacefully and in his sleep. Unlike the passengers in his car. Oh! oh. No, Walter. No, Walter. He's just so angry. What happened, Walter? Is this what life does to you? Like marriage life? Is this what it does? I'm, I'm not even a year into my marriage, um, but I am with my college sweetheart of 15 years. Uh, and I don't feel like this, but he feels like that's what marriage did to him. <laughs> Walter. Unlike the passengers in his car. <laughs> He's checking. Do you have a ticket? <laughs> 300 million sperm, that's the one that got through, right? There. Oh my goodness. He's ruthless. The He's a savage. That the hamster's dead. Look, Walter, do you have kids? Yeah, I got kids. What'd they give you for Father's Day? Card, said I wasn't really their father. <laughs> that's awful. No, that's what I asked for. <laughs> yeah, my nice stupid son. You know what he wanted to get me? What, a tattoo? Did you get one? No. What if you had? Oh, I would have gotten a beautiful woman's face. Ah, where would you have put it? On my wife's face. <gasps> Oh, 
Yeah, my wife got me a book on reincarnation. Uh, do you believe in reincarnation? Yeah, I don't think so. Well, if it yeah. happened, what would you come back as? What would you do? I'd come back as my wife and leave me the hell alone. He really doesn't like his wife. <laughs> I feel like this is so, it's just like literally sometimes how it is. Like. It's just how it is. This is hilarious. Oh my God. Come back as, what would you do? I'd come back as my wife and leave me the hell alone. <laughs> Walter, how's your love life? Meaning sex? Yeah, none. None? None. None. How about making love got better with age? Hang on to that, green pal. <laughs> well, do bald men make better lovers? I don't know. I never made love to a bald man. <laughs> what the hell is wrong with you? Stop looking at me like that, sir. <laughs> Walter, what's the difference between just sex and making love? 50 bucks. Okay, Walter's out of hand. Walter, you are out of line, sir. <laughs> Walter. <laughs> You're out of line. He's out of line. Walter, reel him back in. He's lost it. Oh, my gosh. Of. Oh. 50 bucks. <laughs> Look, I don't mean to get personal, but how many, how many times a week do you and your wife make love? Times a week. <laughs> I'm gonna have to use a decimal to answer this one. A decimal. Walter, well, you just seem like a spry kind of guy. I mean, what, what keeps you hopping? Hemorrhoids. So at your age, hemorrhoids are a problem? No, they're a hobby. What do you think? <laughs> Look, Walter, what, what do you think about when you're making love? Staying awake? <laughs> He's so quick with it. That guy's wife just poked him. <laughs> oh. You a great crowd. Thanks for having us. We'll see you, all right? <laughs> I was in the airport. He's so quick witted. Like the the responses are so quick. Yeah, I think Jeff Dunham is highly talented. I mean, and even like the juxtaposition of his like character versus Walter. Like I wouldn't believe that Jeff would speak like that. You know what I mean? Like that Jeff could come up with those type of jokes. I wouldn't believe because they're so different. But obviously Jeff is the author of the joke so I just think he's just overall talented like I, I it was really easy for me to forget that those are two different people and that's a talented thing to be able to do I am a fan that was a really really funny bit uh, marriage is like Alcatraz <laughs> all right guys go have the day you deserve peace